Welcome back to the Breakcast. I'm your co-host, Brandon. I'm your co-host, Jay. And we are back. This is like the 10th time we've said that statement, uh, but we're here again. <laughs> um, just a little context. We were shadow banned. Yeah. Shadow we got banned. Blacklisted. Uh, from YouTube. Canceled. We're <laughs> we were not. Okay, we were not canceled. We're going to put that out there. Break Vlog was not canceled. Uh, one of our videos was taken down, and we had two strikes, so we got shadow banned. I actually used to think that was just a made-up term by influencers, but it's real, right? We weren't allowed to post, and then we weren't allowed to even do one of those, like, announcements on the channel. So we no. couldn't say anything. We were left we were high locked, and dry. Locked down. And, and then, obviously, yeah. it was around the holidays, too. So once the shadow ban was up, it was the holidays, so, of course... We were all busy with family and things like that. So that's why it hasn't been an upload. But we did yeah. actually record an episode before the shadow ban or during the shadow ban. <laughs> yeah, That'll be coming dirty. out next week, the lost episode. That's right. It'll featuring, uh, yeah, Wesley. It'll I don't know be what exciting. Order, right? but, uh, I think it's the yeah. third time he's been on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we did two okay. die episodes, and then we I won't spoil the next one. That's right. But yeah, the, the video that got us, whatever, shadow banned was like a five or six year old video, which is kind Yeah, of so just one that kind of out of the blue, you know, if you're going to do it, you should have done it whenever we made it. Yeah, and it was just the title, too. It wasn't like, you know, there wasn't anything bad, like, in the video, of course. Yeah, as our, <laughs> our normal video formats are, the titles are more suggestive, and our video content is a little bit different. That's right. It's not clickbait, but... Yeah, it's suggestive. Suggestive titling. Something that could happen in the video. Maybe not in that video or any of them, but it could happen. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Just click on it. Yeah, find out, watch. right? Yeah. We're not baiting you to click. No. We are, we are piquing your curiosity for a click. Yeah, exactly. It's like I mean, Mr. Beast does. Yeah, he does the same exact thing. So his results are just a little bit different than ours, but all, all our haters can just get off our backs. About yeah, that. we're back and we're not going anywhere. We even That's have right. a guest on in two weeks. So we're going to get this, try to plan out um, once a week, like we said, or, or even just once every other week, we'll just kind of see how our schedules go. Yeah. You know, there will be stuff to watch. That's yeah. The there will support. be podcasts. Um, and we're hoping for more of our classic videos if we ever meet up again this year, which I'm hoping right. I do. Also, if you haven't already, go uh, check out the Pandemic Part 2. Yes, please. Absolute masterpiece. The best video we have ever made, and I can stand by that statement well, that's comfortably. A, that is a bold statement, but yeah, I would... Uh, Production yeah. value, link the video. I don't know. It... You know, it's up there for sure. It for me, it was the best that we've ever made. But that's my own personal opinion. Yeah, it is the longest by far. And... Yeah. So, but it's up. Please go watch it. You will really enjoy it. I know I did. We had so much fun filming it. Yeah, and we'll have some behind the scenes footage coming out. It should be out by the time this podcast is. Yeah, up. hopefully. So, check Unless that out. Yeah, shadow people. banned. Yeah, you never know. I think if we get like one more strike or two more strikes, then we're like, right, we're done. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was just kind of scary. But. Yeah, that kind of is. I, I don't know. I still don't know why it really happened from a video from a long time ago. Uh, don't those things reset, like, at some point, too? Or I'm not sure. I'll have to double check what uh, the, the guidelines are. But we may have to go through and scrub some of the old ones or something. <laughs> Make them yeah, I don't know. If private. we get, like, one more strike, then we probably have to do that. I think we're safe for now. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would be awful if uh, our whole channel got taken down because of some, you know, title that is in piquing people's interest to click on it. Yeah, and not even, yeah, exactly. Not even clickbait. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we're okay because, dude, if I'm being honest, we probably should have been taken down a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, with the amount of titles we have, I think that's just a fluke. You know, and that's what, five years? So in five years, we get strike three? Yeah. If that. I think we need to come up with a way to archive all our videos so that just in case that does happen, we won't lose all of them. Yeah. I so think you, many... can, you can unlist them. Okay. 
So at least we yeah, can watch on the channel or like whatever, but yeah, hopefully they never have to see it. Yeah, I, again, it's a fluke. We should definitely have more by now. So I'm not necessarily too worried. If it took us like five years, six years to get a strike, I'm not too worried about the channel. So I'm not. Yeah, not exactly. But that's sort of that. That's where we have been. Uh, today's episode, I guess we're just going to go over what – Two things, I guess. Number one, this is the first podcast of 2023. Happy New Year's to everyone. No, it's yeah, days happy. late, but we're gonna kind of talk about what our plans are for the channel. Maybe if we want to try anything, or just what we're sort of thinking about, and then any just personal goals that we have for ourselves in 2023. Not necessarily about YouTube. It could be anything just relating to your own personal life. So I think we should get started with um, just our goals for this year on the channel. Like, what are we? plan on doing what is it going to kind of look like yeah so i know maybe not exactly on this channel but for the other one we're definitely gonna try to post a couple more of those you know feature length films over there <laughs> yeah um i know we've talked series. about that because we went four years without doing one and i know for myself i was a little bit rusty acting and getting into the groove of things uh, i was definitely a rusty on the editing side as well, but it, you know, it took a while to get those muscles working again. But once it did, I felt, it felt really good. I was, I missed making videos. So yeah. we'll definitely, try that. We'll definitely uh, have to do that then. Um, and then in terms of this channel, I think we're, unless we have any new ideas, I haven't, I'm not really thinking of anything. We're kind of just going to keep with the same format. That's tried and true here. We're going to continue to get podcast episodes, so at least we have some content consistently. Yeah. And then obviously... Yeah. Oh. No, you go. Oh, yeah. And then obviously, um, when we meet up, getting our tried and true content in. And then also just, you know, if we have a chance individually for something, we'll do that. But it's sort of just going to be the same here overall. We're just going to try to be, I guess, a little bit more consistent, I think would be the goal for this. Yeah. No, definitely. And not getting a strike, but I, I, I have a feeling we're not going to. I, I feel good about this. Not going to again. Yeah, there. but and if worse comes to worse, if we ever get taken down, we could just do break vlog podcasts and then we'll just make a second channel. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I really hope we don't. I don't think we will, but dang, that would stink. That video of Zach, that would hurt. Losing. Maybe that. we need to make it. Maybe we need to start another channel, Break Blog Classics. And we just start posting like all the best of the old, like our favorite ones of the old ones. Yeah, that's true. That wouldn't be that bad. That could be some, because I know, I think we have like a greatest hits playlist or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, we talked about that. I don't know. Stay safe. I, yeah. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I think we might be overthinking this a little bit, though, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah, we might. And I, yeah, I just feel, it's just weird that we got to strike. There's a lot of other YouTubers and like way bigger ones that they should be monitoring more than us. It honestly might be someone who just reported our video and they, you know, got wind of it. But a lot of the times it's like, not all of our titles are the ones that are going to get affected. It's usually ones that are more suggestive. Yeah. No, it's the ones that are suggestively explicit. Yeah. Because like, they're, they're not watching the video, you know, they don't manually. Yeah, and I think part of it, too, is it might be someone who just saw the title and reported it. They didn't even watch. Yeah. Because the other thing is, with all those videos, if you actually go and watch, like, there's nothing there. So there is nothing. there. Okay, there was one video that looked way too realistic that got taken down, which made <laughs> sense. Because it, it looked way too real. It was a, one of the guys I lived with. Um, in the dorms and it, it just it looked way too real and I got that one but the rest of them like you can really tell it's not that yeah unless somebody there's like a you know 12 year old or something who clicks yeah. on it Man, but, that wasn't, but that now wasn't there's right. like the not made for kids thing yeah you have to click the not made for kids yeah I think that I honestly think that's what got that one taken down because I think it was selected that it was made for kids <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty messed if, up. I don't know but if yeah, that option back then. For the most part, we're not going anywhere. If we've made it this long, we're going to keep going. Yeah, no matter what. 
We're exactly. But yeah, in terms of our channel, it's kind of, I guess, the only goals I can really think of. It's just. Do you have any. All right, I guess we, we need to talk about if we have any number goals, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Ooh, I don't know where we're at. I think we're at 630,000. Oh, my God. For views and subscribers, like three seventy five six. Yeah, I think it would be awesome if we could hit four hundred subs. Yeah, if we could hit four hundred subs, that would be huge, and I think that's pretty reasonable to grab, like twenty five in a year. Yeah, yeah, especially if you have one more really good video. Yeah, and along with the, if we got a really good video, I think if we hit a million views, that would just be. Insane. I don't know. That would be insane. I'm if I'm like I'm trying it's, to be as realistic as I can. If we can get seven hundred thousand, I'd be pretty satisfied. No, I would. I would be too. I mean, the more the better. But I guess for subscribers, like four hundred would be nice. And That's then a goal, yeah. yeah, and seven hundred thousand. Again, you have like a couple. I mean, if you have what six videos with five k, it could happen. Yeah. And plus oh, all I, the oh, other ones been too, doing like three k. Yeah, because all the other ones, all the old videos still get views. Yeah, and, like, I feel like a lot of the newer ones we've been posting, you know, they've been 700, and then, like, the occasional, like, 3,000. Yeah, yeah like, well, the I YouTube think... Shorts has low-key helped this channel. Because YouTube Shorts, we get a lot of views very fast. They're just not quite as sustainable. So we yeah. get a lot of views quick, but they don't garner more views over time. Yeah. It's not a good sense. investment. Yeah, so if we want like a quick video, we can like YouTube Shorts can really help us. Yeah, no, definitely. We, we, yeah, all right. I was saying we could look into turning some of our old ones into shorts. You know, like taking clips of them and posting them again, like ones that we think have potential for. Dude, but I don't know though. It's gonna take away from the authenticity of our channel. That's true. Everyone's that's like, true. "Oh, these guys repost. They're lazy." That's that's true. I could see that. Yeah. You guys say tried and true. They don't want us to be like, oh, look, nice re-upload. You guys are lazy, no content. And then we got another video taken down for sucking. I guess we deserve it there if we get another one taken down. Yeah, we, yeah. this channel is not lazy. No. We, we'll, we have the hardest work ethic. Exactly. Out of, it, out of any of the channels out there. Exactly. But yeah, uh... 400 subscribers and 700,000 would be awesome. Yeah. The more the better, but I mean, that would, I would be very satisfied because that would give us like another couple of years and we reach a million. Yeah. Unless we hit another banger video like Zach's. And then... Yeah. Oh man, dude. We, we, I mean, we, yeah. We are, we are one Zach video away, like just about to being in a million. Imagine getting a million views on one video, though. That'd be you nuts. Can you imagine that? Dude, I mean, for a while, I thought that Zach one was. The way it was going up. Yeah. I mean, it felt it like it was going to go forever. Off. It just kind of capped off like 200K. Yeah, but, I think like 218, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's still increasing, though. Just yeah. Slowly. But I just remember, it just felt like it was going forever. Like, I felt like it was never going to yeah. stop. Yeah. Maybe to do some research into the YouTube algorithm you know <laughs> yeah if, you, if you're watching this fun of the podcast uh, leave a comment for the youtube algorithm yeah yeah, yeah help us out yeah because we just struck gold at the right time man that was still crazy every day we text each other just more and more like a thousand views an hour it was nuts that was nuts it was like it's what we've always wanted but getting a million total would be insane hey it'll happen someday it will it will. You know, here's the two. I'm going to speak it into existence. We're going to get a million views all together, and we're getting no more strikes. Hey, and then we're going to clip this video and post it right when that happens. That'd that's be cool. We're start do like a video. live reaction like with our, subs with our like view count. Oh, I don't think you can do that with view count. Yeah. No, That'd be cool. Like how this, they this, clip, this clip will be at the beginning of our announcement video of hitting one million views. That would be sick. Dude, we'd have to do something big for that. Yeah, I don't even. I don't know what we could do. Something I don't crazy. know. I'd probably, I'd probably take some vacation time. We go to <laughs> Vegas or something. <laughs> Bro, that'd be fun. That'd be sick. 
Yeah, but that's our kind of our goals for this year. I guess maybe we could just pivot into if we have any personal goals of ourselves. Yeah, sure. Do you want to go first there? Uh, yeah. So obviously, New Year's, it's a great time. Um, just to start off with some personal goals. I think my two biggest ones is obviously, uh, number one, it's just the physical goals, right? Establish a good routine, make sure I'm eating good, all the sort of typical stuff. Um, and then I guess my second one is uh, just social goals, meet new people, do different things, especially being out here. Uh, there's lots of experience that I haven't yet. Uh, a lot of a lot of like nature stuff I haven't experienced out here. But I think just overall maintenance, I've never really been a big fan of like, oh, I'm going to you know lose X pounds or I'm going to do this, like anything specific. You just kind of make good habits. I think it's how you do it long term. <laughs> Yeah, make good habits and then everything else will fall in line. Yeah, then all those sort of specific things will kind of fall into place. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'd say for me, you know, obviously, I've, you know, this is the strength goals. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get into specifics of that on here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's up to you. I You can share what you want to share. I don't want people to think I'm small or – <laughs> or too big or too big that's yeah. the main because really like unnatural but, uh, yeah <laughs> i don't want a natty or not video about yeah <laughs> jake benson natty or not all right what's going on guys uh yeah more plates more, more dates more plates, more... today we're talking about break world co-host uh, yeah <laughs> is he natty no but and are those views know, natty i don't know we'll see <laughs> but yeah, so let me get my my strength up there, obviously, and then other than that, you know, I think I'm gonna try to focus a lot on career goals yeah, this year. That's know? a good one, especially to, where we're at in life. That is a really good one now. Yeah, kind of try to figure out where I want to be in you know five years or whatever, or ten years. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, especially being guys that are like fresh out of college, it's one thing you never. You sort of think about like, okay, I, I need to get a job when I graduate, but you never think like once you're in the career, you're like, what, what's the goal, right? Yeah. We're here for 40 years about like, what do you want to do? Like, is this it? Do you want to move up? Do you want to move in different departments? If it applies, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's going to be my main goal for you is trying to figure it out. I'm that's a good more. one, right? Do you, do you want more money? Do you want, you know, a better location, this, that, more whatever. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know that'll be. Hopefully, I'll get a good idea. Of that I know, I probably will have, you know, no idea. And you know, in twenty years, I'll probably be doing some, something completely different. To yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what I, I mean, decide this year. Say both my parents at the same company since forever, and they've done different stuff during that span of almost thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of different ways to go in every field. Yeah. Most people end up not doing something related to what they went to college for at all, you know? <laughs> yeah, I went to college for teaching, and I don't teach anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Prime so, yeah, as long as you have your degree, it doesn't really matter what you're doing, as long as you have it. I mean, really? obviously, for some jobs, you want a specific degree, but for a lot of, I would say business, if I'm being honest, as long as you have a degree, you're fine. Because, like, where yeah. I'm at is really entry level. You don't even have to have a degree to be at my level. You just have to be um, – use oh, what is it called? Um, you just have to be certified in property and casualty insurance stuff. Like, you got to do yeah. that during the time. Like, you don't have to have a degree, but it helps. And I feel like a lot of other fields, too, like, the degree is, like, a, a foot in the door. And then after yeah. that, they don't care what you went to college for. They just care what you went – what you did in your last job or like what you have experience in. Yeah, because a degree is kind of like it shows your dedication and commitment and your continued education. Yeah. Yeah, it's saying that you put time into your career. Yeah, into something. I'm not saying, not saying everybody should go to college, obviously. No, not at all. But, but it is something like if, like if you want to do it, you should. And there's so many other things with college I don't want to even dive into because we could have a long podcast about college in general. And I think yeah. we have. We had tips. We, we did that one. About, 
Yeah, we're talking about different aspects of it, I guess. Yeah. And our next podcast may or may not also bring up more topics. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. But those are kind of our personal goals. Um, it's Again, when it's New Year's, really figure out what you want to do. Write some things down. Have it maybe posted somewhere. I have like a dry erase board in my apartment, and I have just stuff posted up. Not my New Year's goals, but just like different mini goals that I have, and I have them posted up. And make sure you could like measure it too, like track it. Yeah, and one thing I've heard uh, helps a lot is to have a little notebook. Yeah, and just like, bring it around with you, and when you think of something that you, you know, want to do or need to do, you just write it down, like right there. You know, so you don't forget. Because uh, I feel like a lot of times, if you're gonna, if, you know, if I use the notes app on my phone too. Yeah. Uh, and half the time I'm like, oh, I need to write that down. And then I get in there and then I accidentally click on something else. And then it's like, yeah. oh, what was I, you know, what was I going to work on? Dude, so I have, by my workstation, um, I have a, like a stack of just notebook paper. And anytime I think of something I always do during work, I'll just turn, write it on my pen, like pen on the paper. Then I'll crumple up and I'll throw it towards my bedroom. So when I'm on break or whatever, I can open it back up and be like, oh, yeah, I need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good it's idea. actually helped me to keep going consistently on the podcast. Yeah, to like set things up, stuff like that. That's what I do, at least when I'm working from home. Yeah, that's good. And I have a sheet like that when I'm at work. You know, that I put yeah. work related things on. But if I just think, oh, I need to do that, you know, just write it down real quick. Yeah, because for me, cool. also, I'm one of those people. Like, if I if I'm like, oh, I need to do something, and I can't go do it immediately, I just get stuck. I can't think of anything else. It's just there yeah so for me like writing it down is almost like letting it escape but still being able to actually do so yeah like it's be able to remember it and do it definitely yeah let's see i don't think i have any other crazy goals for this year and you don't need like a million goals right no. just because new year's doesn't mean you just upheaval turn your life around move to south america and become a hermit like you know you just have simple stuff and i i think it's crazy whenever people have all these extravagant huge goals like okay congrats the year turned why is it you're going to do all these crazy things now and the yeah. real question is how long are you going to actually do these things before you just settle back exactly yeah i think the resolutions and stuff are more of like just a good marker of time rather yeah. than saying all right then i'm gonna start doing this. like that's just if if you're not doing it right away when you think about it then you're not serious about it you know yeah and, and people just do the craziest things like all these just aggressively unnecessary diets and stuff like you you know you you, you don't want it now well you Meal want it now but you don't want to put in the work you want to do it as quick as you can and that's just not not what you should be doing no sad Fad diets don't work. You know? Yeah. And then, of course, everyone knows the infamous, like, the gyms, right? That first week, week and a half of okay. January, they're just slam-packed, you know, because these people go from nothing to I'm going to lift super hard and heavy and all this sort of stuff. And then half the people just quit because, oh, I'm sore. Oh, it's time commitment. Oh, this but and that. They don't have what it takes. Yeah. I honest, Honestly, some of that stuff. I don't want to say it's like genetics, but it's just if you want to do it or not. Like if you really want to do it. I feel like working out is something you need to find that you enjoy and want to go do. Yeah. No, I really do. I, I get bored on days. Like today, you know, today's a rest day for me. Yeah. So I started a new program and I was like, oh, shoot, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. You know? Cause like I'm, some, you know, like you love lifting, like you, like yeah. you want to go in there. It doesn't feel like you're working out. It's just an activity you like to do. Yeah. I start getting hyped towards the end of the work day. I'm like, right, yeah. I'm about, when like, I get back, I'm about to go to the gym. Yeah. The problem is a lot of people just use working out. It's like, it's a chore. Oh, I have to go do this. I have huh. to go do that. Like find there's, something you actually enjoy. It doesn't have to yeah, be just one form. Yeah. There's so many different like sports or areas within like working out that you can do. Yeah, it's notorious for cardio. All these people want to run for whatever, like they just want to run. And they huh? don't like it, but they try to force themselves and then they burn out because they hate it. Like there's other yeah, cardio. Running is like, running is like the worst 
thing, I feel like, for somebody that's just getting into the gym. Yeah. You, know, like, you should, at least in my opinion, I think everybody should lift and then do cardio. You know, because if you lift, then, like, you're seeing progress in yourself. And, like, it's, it's not – your goal is not just to, you know, burn 100 calories. Yeah. You know, like, you, it changes your whole perspective on things. Yeah, and finding a way is, like – a way to lift that you enjoy too. Cause again, a lot of people try to go into gyms and try to do all this and that, and they just don't like it. I think maybe what I'm saying, it's a little more applicable to like cardio, right? So everyone tries to run and do all this stuff. You could go and play basketball, dude. I walk like walking's dope. I do it in the yeah. mornings just to wake up. And then at night, just to kind of clear my head before bed. I just, it's been great. Oh yeah. I go on walks during work. Yeah. We get, we get whatever, two breaks. Yeah. yeah one. For lunch, one after, I just walk for like 15 minutes. And then I walk, if I get done with my lunch early, to do. Yeah, but stuff Helps like that, blood. people, I guess this main message is people try to do way too much, way too quick whenever it comes to these resolutions. Yeah, just ease into it. Yeah, just find some small stuff. Find like some overarching goal, but then break it down to like weeks or like months and then weeks and even like a day. Yeah, when it's the same thing, like, also get into a habit and then everything else will yeah pretty much if you, just, if you like lifting you know if that's what you want to do you like going to the gym and getting stronger then that's what you're going to do like yeah like it's just you, what it is like i i personally don't lift i don't enjoy it and i'm not going to go and do some i'm not going to enjoy and stick with i did i walk because like i enjoy it i always liked cardio more weirdly enough yeah Except for the, our uh, class, our lifting class. Oh, yeah. And, like, was... lifting for sports, is like, I always enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's different for everybody what they like. Yeah, different strokes for different folks. Exactly. <laughs> Got to find your stroke. Yeah, That's exactly. The and then message. keep stroking. That's right. Keep stroking until you finish. Yeah. All right. We're getting another strike. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you remember that on, what was it, on the live stream we did for broadcast journalism? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it really knows that stroke in. <laughs> My family was watching that. Too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that I was... just came up the other day. Oh, man, that was funny. Okay, so for some context... Um, for our local high school, we did a broadcast journalism class, Jake and I, and we actually got to be announcers, like the commentators for a live game, which was a ton of fun, by the way. Yeah. I had an absolute blast. No, it, it was so fun. But of course, you know, we were just doing some break vlog stuff. Yeah. It was basketball. I don't know if he said it. It was a basketball game. Yeah, but, it was a basketball yeah. game. Um, but yeah, that was a ton of fun. And then the camera, remember for the volleyball game, I turned it towards you. <laughs> oh man, no, there's so many. That video is probably out there somewhere. What the uh, volleyball? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or no, oh, it, and, and the other one. Oh, we could, I could find it. I'm sure. Our, yeah, it's out there still. We'd have to scroll at this point, but we could find it. Yeah, we might have to do that. <laughs> dude, we might have to rewatch. Oh man, dude, that was that was a ton of fun. Oh, was. but yeah, hey. YouTube, please don't give us another strike. We didn't mean it. Yeah, uh, we need we need our channel. Yeah, to we need to survive. Yes, we're the money maker of YouTube. Dude, oh, people. I guess a little side topic. Did you see Mr. Beast pass PewDiePie in subs? No, I didn't. Yeah, he's at. 127 mil now, Mr. Beast. He's the third most sub channel. Mm, wow. He's got to beat out. There's the uh, T series and then some other like company one. But he's about to catch the other company. Like he might pass T series, like low key, actually high key. Yeah, I haven't even kept up with the rankings. <laughs> Every once in a while, I look at Mr. Beast channel because I'm hoping he becomes the number one sub channel. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, I feel like it could definitely happen. Yeah, he he definitely kills it. It's crazy how he keeps getting all these subs. Yeah. Like this time last year, he was at like 60 million or something. Yeah, that's just I mean, It's crazy. no break vlog numbers, but it's impressive. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. One day maybe we'll get up to break vlog numbers. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. 
Dude, Dude Perfect is in the top 50. Yeah, they're good. Shout out Still Dude watching. Perfect. Oh, man, that's a good one. The stereotype videos. The legendary channel. I know. We've probably talked about it on here before, but those, if you haven't watched it, shout out Dude Perfect. Go and watch those stereotype videos. Those are funny. Yeah. Those are great. Yeah, that's, I mean, those are actually the only Dude Perfect ones I've watched, besides like a couple of the trick shots. Yeah, I used to watch more of them, you know, back when I guess high school or middle school. Yeah, <laughs> dude, because I watched the one where they were in Bass Pro, and then I watched one where uh, they're at a Boy Scout camp that I went to. Um, what's it called? Summit in West Virginia, one of the high adventures. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. so I went, because I, before I went to Summit, I wanted to watch and see what it looked like. Yeah, I watched some of the battles, too. I know those have been kind of getting a lot of views. They're, they have, like, airsoft battles. Yeah. With, like, you know, they have the balloons in the bag. Yeah. And they have, like, three balloons each, you know. Those are kind of good. And then the, uh, I watched a lot of the... The golf, all sports golf battles. Those are actually really entertaining. Yeah. I, not to say that any of their other videos are not entertaining. I've just always gravitated towards the stereotypes. Yeah. Well, those are the, the classics. Yeah. The best. The, I, the first one I ever watched was the basketball one, the first one. Yeah. Half of my quotes come from that. So. Yeah. Literally, though. Like half of the things we say, not even a bite, just a taste. Yeah. yeah. So good. Well, that and Trailer Park Boys is like my vocabulary. Yeah, if you want to understand us talking sometimes, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Break vlog two. recommendation again. Those two, which we've said like three times now. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah, like, I mean, but it's that good. It is that good. Those are bangers. Yeah, but I think that's kind of it. That's kind of all I have. It's a little bit of a yeah. shorter podcast than we normally do, but we just wanted to kind of come back. Basically, number one, we got shadow banned, so we wanted to make sure you all knew that. Um, and yeah. number two, just discuss what our plans are for this year with the channel, even some personal stuff just to get to know us better. And number three, uh, YouTube, stop messing with our channel. Yeah. That's definitely. all I got to say. That would be appreciated. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I am huh. your co-host, Brandon. And I'm Jake. And this has been another episode of The Breakcast, and we'll see you soon.